Praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Gashero, Senior Pastor Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road, and this is Gospel Talk, where we get to discuss the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way that is plain and understandable. There are no two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives and the bible says thy righteousness are as filthy rags the gospel of jesus christ is called good news so our bodies receive life from the spirit I praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Keshero, Pastor Jubilee Christian Church. And today, this evening, we are bringing you the gospel talk. We are still working on the epistle to the Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. And uh, joined today, who is joining us today is Pastor Sam Odindo, Samson Odindo. Thank you, sir. One of, uh, of the associate pastors at JCC, uh, Thicker Road, we'd like to discuss with you the book of Ephesians chapter 1, specifically from uh, the verse 9, specifically from verse 9, mm. which brings out a concept that is very, very interesting here, mm. that he has made known to us the mystery of his will. But before we do so, I would like to ask you to kindly invite somebody, like, comment, mm and subscribe on youtube share you know if you've been studying the bible and you want to know the mystery of christ you've been wanting to know what christ has accomplished uh, i would encourage you to take some notes and you know grab your bible and let's go together as we go step by step amen i would amen. like to ask pastor sam to just say a word of hello and greet you as we get into this discussion and uh, as you are greeting the people tell us oh, why why do you think the book of Ephesians is important amen thank you so much sir for yeah. this opportunity today yeah. just to break down the word of God um, together with us this very evening and I know it's really gonna be a blessing I'm blessed to be under you mm. to be taught and to be enlightened to bring me to up to speed as far as the gospel of jesus christ is concerned and i really appreciate i know you'll be blessed don't touch that dial stay right there because you, it's it's gonna be uh sweet this evening in jesus name and uh so i think the go the book of ephesians is important because um it brings out the accomplishments of the believer or what Christ did on the cross. When I read the book of Ephesians, I, I, I resonate with the statement of Jesus Christ when he said, it is finished, and what was the results or the consequences of that statement when he said, it is finished. So I can be able to resonate uh, when I look from, uh, we start reading from chapter 1, to know um, the purpose of God in bringing his son to us. Yeah. What, what, what was the purpose of God? Why did he give his only begotten son mm. to come and die for us? So when I start reading the book of Ephesians, I start seeing the revelation, that, um, that mystery revealed, of why Jesus came. So this is why I think the book of Ephesians is so important for a believer to be able to understand. And of course, uh, being brought up to speed with the accomplishments of Jesus Christ. Yeah, and particularly, you see, the accomplishments of Jesus Christ are very, very wide. In fact, uh, if you read the epistles of Paul, mm. all the epistles of Paul mm. really bring out the accomplishments of Christ. Uh, writings like Hebrews mm -hmm. bring his accomplishments in terms of the covenant, mm -hmm. the new covenant, the better promises and stuff like that. When you come uh, to the book of Romans, 
which is uh, uh, is noted to be a work of genius yeah. Paul's greatest work mm-hmm. in the way he has organized mm-hmm. his gospel remember he wrote the book of romans when uh, he he wrote that letter to them to prepare them for his coming mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah he wanted to go and visit uh, romans that is why in romans chapter 16 25 he says mm-hmm. and when i come to you i will come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel okay he was preparing them for his coming therefore he wanted them to be aware mm-hmm. of his convictions of his faith and of his knowledge of jesus christ romans was also a mixed congregation we mm-hmm. had jews mm-hmm. we had uh, you know being a cosmopolitan city and the capital city Uh, the capital city of the roman empire yes, it had all kinds of people mm-hmm. so he was saying it in such a simple way to be able to communicate to everyone who is, was in that church mm-hmm. and uh, now when you come to the book of galatians it has its intention yeah uh, 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 the book of corinthians mm-hmm. also has its intention mm-hmm. so all of them are to bring out Uh, what Christ, Christ has done, done. Mm-hmm. but when you come to the book of Ephesians, mm-hmm. and I know uh, today we are discussing about, you know, the, the mystery, mystery of, of His will. will. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. but just to go back to give a background because the background, the context is very important. Mm-hmm. Christ makes a statement to His disciples, especially mm-hmm. Peter, mm-hmm. in the book of Matthew eighteen eighteen. Mm-hmm. He says, "You are Peter." and uh, you know of course the conversation goes from you know who do men say who, that i yeah, am yeah. and peter says you are the christ the son of the living god mm-hmm. and he says flesh and blood has not revealed these things to you mm-hmm. uh, but my father has revealed those these things to you he says you are peter and upon this rock i shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and i shall give you the keys of the kingdom of god mm-hmm. Or, all mm-hmm. right so whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven so that's a conversation basically uh-huh. but he made a statement about i will build my church oh yeah and the gates of hell shall, shall not, not prevail mm-hmm. against it and that's the only time in the gospels that the word church appears mm-hmm. so for peter and john and the others it was a it it is a new concept is a new word they understood it from maybe what the romans did but as far as they were concerned jesus said i will build my church mm-hmm. is, is a new thing mm-hmm. yeah so just hold that thought sir yeah. i'm just thinking about uh, the statement you said i will build my church mm. and he started by saying on this on this rock mm. is it okay if you bring us up to speed what 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 is this rock that christ is saying I will build my church on is it a person peter particularly or what, what is this rock he saying on it, this rock you see when Because bible they, interprets bible yes sir there is no other place that he another man or a person is referred to as a rock uh-huh. because we cannot build our trust from jeremiah the psalms he said to not trust mm-hmm. in a man You see so the rock cannot be a man Christ alone is the rock Amen All right the yeah. Bible says is the rock from which they drank uh-huh. water so but we see the rock as the word of God where Jesus speaking he said that there were two people one mm-hmm. of them built on the sand and the other built on the rock mm-hmm. and the storms came the wind came the rain came the one that was built on the sand collapsed mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. the one that was built on the rock uh, uh, stood Stood. and they says that that rocky built on was mm-hmm. the word of god amen so it's consistent to say that the word of god is that rock mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. are you getting yes sir. so the rock was not peter Oh, okay. okay the rock was not peter the yeah. rock was the revelation christ wow Amen. because you know christ had come to reveal himself to israel mm-hmm. all right he mm-hmm. came to reveal himself to israel why because it's the only nation in the world that was anticipating a messiah oh yes 
they kept reciting the prophecies and the law of the Torah in anticipation to the coming of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus came, one of the first things he wanted them to know is that, hey, the Messiah that you've been expecting is here. Mm -hmm. He has come. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and most of them get it wrong. All right. Yeah. They reject him. Mm -hmm. But here is a guy called mm -hmm. Peter, mm -hmm. a fisherman, who gets it right. <laughs> okay. You understand? Yes. Sir. And say, you are Peter. All right. Mm -hmm. And upon this rock, that is the revelation. Re the revelation. That I am the Christ. Okay. Sir. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what Jesus meant. The mm -hmm. revelation that I am the Christ. Mm -hmm. Is the rock on which I'm building my church. Amen. So the church Amen. is not built on Peter. The church is built on, on Christ. Christ. Who is building his church? How can Christ be building his church on another person? It's impossible. He sir. builds mm. his church on him who is the rock, mm -hmm. who is the Christ, mm -hmm. who is the anointed one, mm -hmm. who has come and died for the sins of the world mm -hmm. because redemption is in no one else is in christ hallelujah yes mm. yeah thank you sir so much because i found out uh when we come to interpret the scriptures especially on that uh, particular verse you've mentioned in matthew 18 18 that and on this rock mm. I will build my church. So the church is built on the revelation of Jesus Christ as the Messiah, the Son of the Living God, and not on a particular person. No, 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 not on a, on a particular person. In fact, wow, the kingdom of God is not built on anyone else but Christ Himself. <laughs> yeah, wow. it's Christ Himself. So this is what brings us now brings us now into the accomplishment see mm -hmm. what i was saying he has made a statement that i will build my church mm -hmm. now we need to get to a place where we understand what is this church mm -hmm. what is what does it comprise of mm -hmm. how does it be does he does christ build his church to a place where he says the gates or the authorities of hell so we're talking about the gates, you're talking about the powers mm -hmm. and the authorities of hell mm -hmm. cannot prevail against it. So he's talking about a church that has greater power and authority than the powers and the authorities of Hades or hell. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you come to the book of Ephesians, and this is the book of Ephesians that talks about the church of Christ. Uh -huh. How did Christ, what has he done? in his church for his church or will do through his church okay. that makes it not pre uh, uh, that, 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 that makes it so strong that the gates of hell cannot prevail mm -hmm. against it all right mm -hmm. and that is what the book of Ephesians is telling us it focuses on the church of christ wow. as we go forward you mm -hmm. will see various things uh, uh, that have happened to the church mm -hmm. how it was redeemed where it is seated, what it is doing, the good works, you know, predestined before the foundations of the earth, mm -hmm. on and on and on. And then, Jesus in chapter 4, mm -hmm. uh, Paul writing, he tells us, for us to be able to do that, it's still the building of the, the build. church. Okay. He says he has given the fivefold, mm. some, some to be apostles, prophets, mm. evangelists, teachers, teachers. and pastors. Mm -hmm. So, for what? For the building of the church, the edification. Mm -hmm. That word is, it talks about building. Mm -hmm. To edify is to build. Yeah, we wow. get the, the word edifice. You know, the front part of a building, mm -hmm. the edifice of a building comes from edification. Mm -hmm. So it talks about the building up of, of the church is edification. Mm -hmm. So he talks about giving gifts to men for the building of that church. Okay? And the equipping of that church for the work of the ministry. Mm. Are you getting? Mm. So the book of Paul of, of Ephesians by Paul is talking basically about what Christ has done to answer to you that question, I will build mm. my church and mm. the gates of hell mm -hmm. shall not prevail. Now, 
you need to understand yes sir when you are talking about the book of ephesians something happened in ephesus if you go to the to to uh, uh, to the book of acts mm -hmm. now ephesus used to be <clears throat> what you call an altar city a gate city i mean all those words you can use all those words in mm -hmm. terms of worship because they say that's where the stone fell from the sky it was the custodian of the stone that fell from the sky uh -huh. it was where the the the, the priests of diana mm. and diana was a lady uh, the image of a lady with so many breasts mm -hmm. around ar around her so many breasts all right so that was the image of diana mm -hmm. talking about fertility mm -hmm talking about prod productivity okay all right potency okay so diana was worshipped in ephesus all right mm -hmm. and the shrines of diana were manufactured in ephesus wow. Wow. so paul goes as one man to ephesus and we are still giving you a background yes, really. sir. <laughs> go paul goes in ephesus in the book of acts as one man mm -hmm. All right, without whatever, he Amen. goes and preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And people are converted from the worship of that image called Diana. Uh -huh. And they turn to Christ. Having wow. turned to Christ, there is a riot. Mm -hmm. There is a riot in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And from that time, we see the manifestation of that statement, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Shall not prevail. One wow. apostle Paul goes to Ephesus. One by himself. Yes. And by ministering in Ephesus, in, in, the, in Ephesus, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the authority, the influence, the power of that goddess that had been worshipped by the Ephesians for a long time, is minimized so in fact mm -hmm. we can read that scripture says mm -hmm. for three months paul taught openly and fearlessly in the synagogue mm -hmm. arguing persuasively for them to enter into the kingdom of kingdom realm but some of them hardened their hearts and stubbornly refused to believe when they spoke evil of the way in front of the congregation paul withdrew from them and took the believers with him mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. but if you look at you know, I, I want to get that place where it says about, you know, Ephesus being the, the, altar, the, the, altar the, the, the guardian city. Nowadays we talk about altar cities. Altar so that city. was a, an altar city, Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. you, you look at verse, verse uh, 20, 21. It says, but Paul, mm -hmm. Paul had it in his heart to go to Jerusalem and on his way there to revisit the places in Greece where he had ministered. After that, he said, I have to go to Rome also. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he sent ahead into Macedonia Two of his ministry assistants, Timothy and Erastus, while he remained in Western Turkey. Okay, let me try and, and, and cut the chase. Verse 27. 27, because of time. Yeah. Eh? Verse 27. No, no, no. Begin at verse... Let me begin at verse 23, is okay. Mm -hmm. For as I was passing through, verse 19, verse 23... Acts 19 verse 23 about that time there arose a great commotion about the way for a certain man called Demetrius mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. a silversmith so it tells you the shrines the were shrine. made of silver okay silversmith who made silver shrines of Diana brought no profit to the craftsmen mm -hmm. Okay, no small profit. No, no small profit. So it was very, very profitable mm -hmm. because many people there were, would purchase these shrines mm -hmm. of Diana. People who passed 
will pass mm-hmm. past the, through the you know FSS. Yeah, just like when people go to New York they buy the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. So they would buy these statues and they would you know carry them. So brought no small profit to the craftsman. Verse 25 he says he called them together okay mm-hmm. with the workers of the similar occupation and said men you know that we have our prosperity by this trade mm-hmm. okay moreover you see and hear that not only at ephesus but throughout almost all asia, asia. this wow. paul has persuaded and turned away many people saying that they are not gods which are made with hands Okay. So not only is this trade of ours in, in danger, danger of falling into disrepute, that but, is a loss, mm-hmm. but also the temple of the great goddess, goddess Diana mm-hmm. may be despised and her magnificence destroyed. destroyed. Whom all Asia and the world worship. Whom all Asia and the world worship. Worship. Are you getting? Wow. Now, when they heard this, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. So this, wow. the Bible tells us, is the idol that was being worshipped all over. Mm-hmm. Here comes one man, preaches Christ, and people start to come. The business is affected, the prosperity is affected, Asia is affected. And we start to see the magnificence of the church of christ replacing the magnificence Magnific- mm-hmm. of diana mm-hmm. you get yes sir. and 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 you know it's it's not by chance that he he starts to explain the magnificence of the church you know mm-hmm. and we will get there mm-hmm. of of the church that christ has 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 uh, brought forth mm-hmm you know, by his death and resurrection from the book of Ephesians. Wow. Wow. Are you getting? Wow. So here is is talking about how did Christ build this church? Mm. He's talking about, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall Shall not prevail. prevail. Mm. And that is what the book of Ephesians is all about. Mm. I think we need to go on. Yes, sir. Okay. So we will see the rest as we proceed mm-hmm. so in chapter chapter 1 verse 9 we, we are seeing certain things mm-hmm. the unfolding of a grand plan mm-hmm. which we are calling the mystery of his mm-hmm. will but the bible says here in verse 9 now when he, in verse 9 of uh, 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 first ephesians chapter 1 verse 9 he says having made known to us the mystery of him will now paul is speaking very confidently mm-hmm. as one who knows he's speaking and he said we know the mystery mm-hmm. of his will the mystery of god's will is not hidden anymore wow okay wow. so yeah. christ came to reveal to us the will of god mm-hmm. but also paul is used by god to reveal father Mm-hmm. The will of God, the mm-hmm. mystery of, of this will. Mm-hmm. So Paul is talking about the will of God several times in this chapter. He says that Paul is an apostle of Jesus Christ mm-hmm. by, by the will of by God. By the will of God, yeah. Okay. Talks about the will of God. Mm-hmm. Then we continue and we see uh, uh, that uh, the Verse will of God five. is mm-hmm. revealed mm-hmm. to us how God chose us, mm-hmm. how God uh, predestined us mm-hmm. to be his sons, mm-hmm. adopted us, how God has blessed us mm-hmm. with every spiritual uh, uh, blessing in the heavenly places, yes, how, you know, uh, we, are pre- we have been accepted mm-hmm. by God in the beloved. And then he says that all this is according to his will, mm-hmm. to the counsel of his of will. His will. Mm-hmm. Okay? All this is according to the counsel of the will of God. Are you getting? Yes, so sir. what are we seeing here? We are seeing that the will of God, the mystery of the will of God is how through Christ Jesus, the death of Jesus Christ, how people have been gathered mm-hmm. from all nations and have been made sons of God. And how Amen. God mm. has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places 
because it's his will. Mm-hmm. The Bible says this pleased him to make us his sons, yes. to make us heirs. He, this one has really, really pleased him. Mm-hmm. So it's his will that he's fulfilling. So realize that the plan of God yeah, is fulfilled by his power, his power, his great power and wisdom. Mm-hmm. His wisdom lays down his plan. His power fulfills that plan. Wow. His ability oh, fulfills. He brings that plan to pass. Mm-hmm. So there is no plan that God would ever think of and has no ability to bring to pass. Powerful, sir. And that is what Paul is telling us. Mm-hmm. And when we get to verse 18, mm-hmm. you'll see that. Mm-hmm. And verse 19, how he used that power to raise Jesus from the dead mm-hmm. and to sit him on the right hand of, 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 of power. Wow. Okay? So wow. the mystery of his will here is revealed from the fact that we are chosen Mm -hmm. okay the fact that we belong to god that we are blessed by god Mm -hmm. the fact that okay he has redeemed us in verse 7 Mm -hmm. yeah we have redemption through Through his blood the forgiveness of sin Mm -hmm. according to the riches of his grace for which he has made to abound towards us Mm -hmm. he's showing us that god has given us all these according to the riches of his grace Mm -hmm. so it's a revelation of the grace of god is the revelation of the will of god is the revelation of the plan of god from the beginning Mm -hmm. from the beginning from the very 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 beginning Mm -hmm. praise the name of jesus you're going to take a minute's break and then we get back uh, to this and then we continue god bless you please remember to like comment share and subscribe on youtube See you in a bit. Thank you. Our bodies receive life from the Spirit. Thank you so much. We are back now. We are still addressing this aspect of the mystery of His will. Why are we centering on this, mm-hmm. taking time? Is mm-hmm. because there are people who still linger on the notion that God. God's will is a mystery. But Paul is speaking, he says, he has made known his mystery. Yes, sir. That is what I'm looking at when I'm looking at these um, verses. Uh, verse, verse, like verse 5, he says, Having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Then he says in verse 9, Having made known to us. And you know, for most I was also in this school of thought, I think, I thought the mystery of God is it's, it's, it's still hidden. It's something that you need to search and search and, you know, God is still hiding what he wants to do. Yes. Or what he is. He uh, works in mysterious he, he ways. He works. Uh, actually, <laughs> I really, <laughs> I loved that statement. Yes. But now I'm coming to see here, he says, having made known. And you know, one of the things, sir, uh, you've taught us is to read the scriptures as they are yes. and to look at the tenses. Yes. He's saying, here in verses 9, is, it, it is not saying that he will make known mm. to us yeah. the mystery of his will. He says, having made known. It's a concluded it's, matter. It's plain, sir. Yeah, the will of God wow. is plain. It is plain. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, we see the will of God revealed in different ways. Uh-huh. And I think one of the most important is that you Mm -hmm. are the will of God in manifestation. Wow. Because the things that God has planned from the beginning are being done in us. uh, Listen to the language there. Mm -hmm. He's saying that the will of God is not a blueprint paper in a file, the way we write a proposal, the way we write a plan, a vision, or whatever. No, no, no. That's not how God has done it. Wow. God has done it through people where people become the manifestation of his will. Uh Listen, he says he chose us, people. People. He predestined us, people. He adopted us, people. He blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. That's people. So that's powerful. You say the will of God is not uh, the way we we prepare our will on paper. No. It's about people. It's people manifested it is fulfilled in people yes wow yes in fact if you listen to that language uh-huh. he says 
you know uh, that having made the uh, I mean made known to us mm -hmm. meaning we now know mm -hmm. the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in Christ mm -hmm. both which are in heaven and which are on the earth in him mm -hmm. in him also we, we wow you see, yes, sir. in him we have obtained an inheritance. So that's the will of God. The will of God is people. What is happening to people? What he wants to do to people, through people. Mm. What he has given to people. What he has made people to be. Those who are in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Alright? Wow. So that's the will of God. Alright? So many people forget what they are in Christ what they have in Christ, and they think, oh, the will of God is for me to buy a, a big car, a new house, uh -huh. or whatever. All that is good, and, and, and it's good. It's always said in Jeremiah, you know, build houses and dwell in them. Yes, sir. So he's God, and mm -hmm. he's consistent. Mm -hmm. But what has he done in Christ? What has he fulfilled? What has he given you? What has he established for you in Christ? And so I feel this is this, this really a big deal in the Christian norm because most of the times we are in struggle to find out what is God's will. Mm. And uh, like you've said, most of the times we are looking at uh, he wants, uh, if, if he, is it his will for me to buy this, for me to get this and to get that, but we forget the foundation, the, 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 the basic, what he has done for us in mm. Christ. Mm. And you know, just to know that his will is more about me than really all these other stuff that yes. I'm looking at. Mm. It's really a, quite a reminder, our viewer today, just think about it again, that the will of God is more about you. It is on people. It is not on print, on fine print written on a paper. It's about what you, he has done for you in Christ Jesus. And it is plain. It is no longer hidden. Thank you so much. You sir. know, sometimes we struggle over very minor mundane things. Okay. Where, you know, you, you see you have a child there. You have all these things that you have planned for them, uh, you know. But they, they are grappling with whether they should reuse a black pen or a blue pen. Mm. How does it, what do you wow. care? You know, in terms of just write, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Are yes, you getting? Sir. Yes, sir. You bought them crayons and colored pencils, and they are like all the time they are going 21 day fasting to find out whether they should use the orange one or the oh yellow my. one. You know, just oh take my. it and color. Beautiful. Are you getting? Beautiful. Provided mm -hmm. you are in the wheel, you mm -hmm. know the picture, mm -hmm. the greater picture, mm -hmm. the big picture of Christ. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Christ's big picture. What mm -hmm. is it? Is people mm -hmm. helping people, causing people to understand, and 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 you know, as we have said, you know, is all the process of building. So now the building mm -hmm. of this church begins by the changing of the nature of the church. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. choosing, you know, it's it's just the status of the of the people that are to make up this church, mm -hmm. the members of this church. Okay, which mm -hmm. is the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So he's building, he's empowering them. Mm -hmm. He's equipping himself, the, the, them. But, uh, and it begins by saying that he, he chose them. And then he blessed them. Yeah, wow. He adopted them. He made them to be his sons because that is important. All right? Mm -hmm. And then there is the aspect of inheritance. Mm -hmm. Then as you continue, I think we'll discuss in the next session this mm -hmm. one. You see... Paul starts to talk about the things that the church should know. Mm -hmm. All right? Ooh. The power that worketh in the church. Yes, sir. What God has already given them mm -hmm. because they did not know this. Mm -hmm. You see this in this particular verse, verse 11, he says, In him also we have obtained an inheritance, mm -hmm. being predestined according to the purpose of he who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Mm -hmm. So you have obtained an inheritance according to his will. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes, sir. But now, when you go to verse 18, mm -hmm. verse 18, all right? Mm -hmm. You see Paul praying. He says, The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know 
What is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his this inheritance that you have obtained? So he's moving mm -hmm. from what you already he's telling them this is what he's done. Mm -hmm. And then he shifts. Mm -hmm. He says my prayer for you mm -hmm. is that you may know that you wow. may know mm. what you have. You get? Mm -hmm. So he's coming from defining chapter 1 is telling us this is who we are. Yes, All right. In mm -hmm. fact, he says in verse uh, that Jesus was made to sit, you know, on the right hand of power. Mm -hmm. Go to verse, verse 19. 19. And what is exceeding of the greatness of his power mm -hmm. to others who believe according to the working of this mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places mm -hmm. for above all principalities powers might mm -hmm. dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to, to come, come. Mm -hmm. and he put all things under his feet mm -hmm. under whose feet christ, christ. the accomplishments mm -hmm. of christ mm -hmm. okay and gave him to be head over all things to the church mm -hmm. Are you getting? Yes. Sir. So you see the word church there manifest. Mm -hmm. He says he made him to be head of all, all things, things to the church, mm -hmm. which is his body. The fullness, mm. the fullness of Christ, mm. of him mm -hmm. who fills all it. So the church is, is the, the fullness of Christ. Wow. So for it to be the fullness of Christ, it has to be invested mm -hmm. with certain things. Oh. It has to be built up in a particular mm, way. It okay. has to be empowered with certain things. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing? Yes, sir. So, and that is what we are seeing. Paul introducing that you are chosen. Mm -hmm. You are adopted. You have the inheritance. Yeah. He has revealed to you and he has caused his grace to abound Bound. in you. Mm. Mm. I, according to the counsel of his will, mm -hmm. on and on. You have, you have the inheritance. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And then he continues... And he says that you have been sealed. You have been sealed with mm -hmm. in him also, verse 13. Mm -hmm. You trusted after you had the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee mm -hmm. of your our inheritance. He's talking about legality. Yes. The legality of everything that he has done. All right, mm -hmm. until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. All right, wow. so we are seeing here the mystery of his will being revealed. Wow, that all those things mm -hmm. that Christ, that God has done through Christ, is the unfolding of okay. his will. That's mm -hmm. why you get words like. Counsel of, mm, of his will, uh -huh. according to his good will. Mm -hmm. All right, you have those, uh, you know, Paul in chapter verse one called according to his will. According to his will. Okay. Mm -hmm. You come to verse ten. Verse ten. Mm -hmm. Verse ten. He says that in, in the dispensation the of the fullness of time, he might gather together in all things, in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven. And which, and which are in the earth, mm. in him, but the next verse. Verse 11. Verse 11. In, in him, him also we have obtained. No, I was looking, of course, uh, yeah, I was looking uh, in him. Yes, verse 11. He says, in him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel all things mm -hmm. he works all things mm -hmm. according to the counsel of his will there is nothing that he's doing outside he's the counsel of his will. there's nothing he's doing outside he's re he's referring to the counsel of his will no prayer can, can or fasting can be able to <laughs> I'm pleased to God yes. to do what is not in the counsel of his will. So he does all according to the counsel of his will. And now he has made known to us 
this will. Yeah, he has made known to us this will how through the gospel. Mm. Okay? Through Christ, what Christ has done is the will of God and the gospel is a message of what Christ has done, what God has accomplished through Christ. Mm -hmm. And what he has for us through Christ. Who he has made us through Christ. Mm. His intentions, his plan for us through Christ. And that is what the Bible says. That from the time, if you look at verse 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, verse 12. Verse 12. That we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, in him you also trusted. After, How did you trust? After, after you, you heard the word of, of truth. truth. Mm. The gospel of your salvation. So you come into this will of God. You come into Christ. You trust him by hearing the truth. Because what you hear matters. You see, people hear how God has kept them yeah. in sickness for, for a, part a, part a purpose. The people hear that, you know, certain things, uh, and I don't want to get into them because of, you know. Yes, sir. It's a total misrepresentation of his will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are paying the price for this. God is testing them for that. God wants to give them a ministry. So, sir, the, Serious. The, the, the counsel of his will or the mystery of this will is revealed in the gospel. In the gospel, in Christ. And so there is need. Actually, we need to understand what is the what gospel. Is the, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is where I was going. Because the gospel and Christ are not different. Yes. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. is if I look at you, mm -hmm. what you have done or what you are doing, and then somebody has to write a report and talk about the things you have done and accomplished and you plan to do. Mm -hmm. So that in a way will be your gospel. Yes. But mm -hmm. the gospel is basically about you. Mm -hmm. So the gospel is not separate from Christ. Mm -hmm. So in a brief definition of what is the gospel, mm -hmm. what do you think the gospel is? The gospel is the accomplishment, the good news of what Christ has accomplished. For yeah, us but we also believer. have the gospel before Christ. Yes. Before Christ, before before Christ was born. Let me let me let me correct that. Yeah, you get so we, we have the gospel in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a prophetic messianic prophet. prophecies mm -hmm. of how the Messiah would come and what the Messiah would do. Those that is the gospel in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. The gospel in, in some prophetic so when you're talking about the gospel, but the gospel is talking about the prophecies, promises, statements. Mm -hmm. All right? In the Old and in the New Testament that have been declared concerning the coming of Christ, oh. his purpose, his accomplishment, mm -hmm. and the outcome of what he would do. That's, That's powerful. the gospel. That's and that is, powerful. just go to Peter. Mm -hmm. First Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Mm. First Peter chapter one, verse ten. You read for us, Pastor Sam. Mm. Yeah. First Peter chapter one and verses ten. It says of this salvation. Yeah. The prophets have inquired and searched carefully, mm. who prophesied of the grace that will come to you. Mm. Verse eleven says, searching what or what manner of time, mm. the spirit of Christ who was in them was indicating when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that will follow. Okay, go to the next. He says, to them, verses 12, it was revealed that not to themselves, but to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel. So what is the gospel they were preaching? They were reporting. Whoa. We are reporters. Yes. We do not invent yes. messages. We are reporters. Wow. We report. The Bible says what? His sufferings. Mm -hmm. 
the outcome of his, the glories that have come out of his suffering mm -hmm. were reported. Mm -hmm. Okay? Through those who preached the gospel to you is a report. Is so a we report. tell people, hey, somebody has come and died for you. You are now free. You are now healed. You are now delivered. You are now blah, 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 blah. That wow. is the gospel. Wow. Let me give you another example. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 1. Mm -hmm. We are defining the gospel. He says you have heard mm -hmm. the gospel of your salvation. Mm -hmm. So what is the gospel? Yeah. Paul, a bond, uh, yeah. Yeah. Paul, a bond servant of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. called to be an apostle, separated to the gospel of God. The gospel of? God. So it's not just the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> But is the gospel of wow, God of God. Wow. Which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. So what were the prophets promising? The gospel. They were promising the gospel. Sindio? Yes, sir. The gospel of God. Mm -hmm. Which gospel is that? Proceed. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes who was born of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So in a nutshell, that is what the gospel is. Wow. So, he says that you have come to trust, in verse 13 of Ephesians, that mm -hmm. you have come to trust in him after you have had the word of truth. Mm. All right? Mm. It, after you have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, you see, the gospel, mm -hmm. they had the gospel, but they trusted in a person. Whoa. That's why the Bible says faith comes by hearing. By hearing, uh -huh. And that faith is not faith directed to any to mm -hmm. the Samon. Mm -hmm. The faith has to be in a person. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see, you trusted in him in when him. you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Okay? In whom mm -hmm. also having believed, so this gospel of your salvation points you mm -hmm. to Christ mm -hmm. and then you believe and trust in, in Christ. Christ. The Bible says in whom also having believed you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Mm. It's a whole th you know there are people mm -hmm. who are born again, mm -hmm. saved. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is controversial but I'll say it anyway. It's okay. There are people who are born again and they do not know anything about what Christ has done. Wow. It's true, sir. Yeah, they don't know. They have not had the word of truth. They, wow. they have not had the gospel of their salvation. Yet they are in churches and they say they are born again. So you tell me, what have they believed? Wow. Are you getting it? What about have they believed? Because... The Bible says there is something you have to hear. You hear it. Otherwise, you, you will be born again because you believe in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as your Savior, but mm -hmm. you don't know how you are saved. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you have become. You don't know the word of oh, truth. Yes. Wow. So, sir, is this the reason... Why we are many in the churches, but we don't seem like the church that he said, I will build my church. Because from what I'm picking from you, sir, is that the gospel is a report. And we as the gospel ministers, we are reporters. And what we hear as the church is what builds, is now what Christ is using to build his church. Yes. And it's supposed to be the gospel. It's the gospel. So it matters the report you are. It's, it matters. You know, Pastor Sam, let me tell you, you know, Christ is coming back very, very soon. Yes, sir. And my grief sometimes is, my concern is, when I read the scriptural statistics, mm -hmm. 
statistics of scripture mm -hmm. where you see the bible says there were 10 virgins five were left and five you know yeah, yeah yeah and if you look at what all of them were virgins talking about the church yes yeah talking about the church that half of them had actually left to go and look for oil out for there oil. at midnight mm. at night it's night it's a time of darkness number one where, where were they going to buy oil at night are you getting yeah it, it talks about trying to look for something where you can't find it it's like look looking for the living among the dead Whoa. Yeah, are you getting yeah, so they yeah. leave to go look for oil at midnight okay mm -hmm. so that trimming of light is it means that all of a sudden it seems like there was a slum people are sleeping mm -hmm. but when they heard christ is coming all of them rose up and half of them trimmed their lamps that trimming of the lamps means mm -hmm. that there will be increased revelation Oh, there yeah. will be increased re revelation mm -hmm. all right yes sir but those who fail to did not have oil of course they will not have revelation wow. because the church is built on revelation yes of christ mm -hmm. and when that re the, the light they trim the light mm -hmm. the light shines brighter wow. all right mm -hmm. and they are able to see the the the, the bridegroom clearer mm -hmm. All right? Yes, you sir. you don't see him in shadows. Wow. Are you getting? Yeah. You, you don't see him in shadow. You see him clearly. Clear. Mm -hmm. And that's the purpose of light. Mm -hmm. And that is what the Bible tells us in Ephesians, the same book, yeah. chapter 4, mm -hmm. that what is Christian maturity is our resemblance to Christ. Mm -hmm. Is our resemblance wow. to Christ. He's looking after him. Wow. I, I mean, that looking Christ, like him. Like you know, him. Bearing his image, mm. coming to the stature of Christ. That is Christian maturity. That is Christian maturity. So it is not on how many years. No, no, been no. It's not church. about years. It's not about where you have been. Wow. It's not about. By the way, let me tell you. It's, it's not even about the things you have built. No, no, no. Wow. He said there are people who will be told you did it, but I was not I in was it. Not in it. Ouch. Meaning you did not do it for my will or for my purpose. You did not do it, yeah? There are people wow. who do things for ambition, for renown, no. for no. so that it can be said of them. This is what they this did. This is what they did. All right, and mm. it's good because they, it helps people. Yeah. People are being. But can you imagine on that great day where I said, "Oh, you did all that. You you but did all that, but I wasn't in it." Wow. Why is the will <laughs> getting to know what is he doing? What is God doing? What is the bigger picture? What is God about? The Bible says they have been revealed. His will has been revealed mm, to us. Mm. It's no longer a mystery. A mystery. It's an ex oxymoron there. Mm -hmm. You know what an oxymoron is? An oxymoron is a place where two words that are opposite are spoken. All right? Yes. Of, uh, yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay? It's, it's spoken in a way of it's talking about the rich beggar mm -hmm. yeah. or the rich yeah. group pa -pa -pa. Yeah. all right mm -hmm. or the tall dwarf <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah are you getting yeah it? yeah so it's an oxymoron where he says mystery has been revealed he's talking about the mystery he has made to, known to us mm -hmm. revealed the, to uh, us the, the mystery, mystery. Because that which has been known, revealed to us, is no longer supposed to be a ministry, mystery, it's supposed to be common knowledge. Yes. But he's but, trying to say that it has been revealed, uh -huh. but it's still a, a mystery, mystery to many. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, it's still a mystery to many. It's, it's been it's, revealed, it's, fully yeah. revealed, completely revealed. It's an if open you secret. Look at this book, if you read it, and I tell you guys, the best thing that can happen to you yes. is to understand this. Amen. Is to understand this. Yes, sir. Scripture, especially the New Testament. Mm. It's true, sir. It, because it's still such a mystery to many people. All right? Yeah. yeah. Um, God it, bless it, you so much. Yes, sir. It's, yeah. still, it's still a mystery. It's, it's still, still a mystery, mystery even today, reading it and understanding it. 
mm. you know there are there were times mm. you know you use you like using this um analogy and i like it because it happened to me one time mm. that um one 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 time and i was this i was and I, I, i loved god genuinely zealously mm. but christ was not revealed yeah i had a lot of i was pursuing a lot and reading especially the old testament personality yes they really made sense to me more than yeah. the new testament those were biographies <laughs> of those men yes yeah and th- the story really made sense to me yeah. more than uh, when you come to ephesians now that when you are reading we can be able to understand so one of these times i'm just in 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 in, in yearning i'm eager and you know i'm i'm wondering so what what is the gospel What is this gospel of Jesus Christ? And one of the days I have a f- very good phone but it used to misbehave at some point. So I'm send money on Mpesa mm. but I never received the message that I have received something. One month down the line sir. Mm. I've been walking, mm. traveling, mm. walking by foot, mm. looking for money mm. that I have in my Mpesa. Yes. Because I never knew I had it. Yes. Until one day the person that sent it to me, we met and they asked me, a month ago I sent you something I never even received a message that you have acknowledged. You, yeah, I never acknowledged that yes. you had received anything. Mm. And I told them I, had, I don't I don't know. Yes. They, they they told me but are your name so and so? Yes. I said yes yes yes. That's my name. I said check. Mm. And when I looked at my <laughs> Balance, uh, yeah. the money i was looking for was i was working with it right in my phone for one good month yes without because i never even checked my impressor because i knew of course i don't have money mm. but it had come in and the notification the notification the message the, the gospel the gospel did not the gospel did not come yeah but when i was informed mm. of what i have Mm. immediately you on looked a, at the balance i looked at the balance mm. i lo- i saw what i had i was at an impesa impe- shop yes and withdrew immediately that's what i tell you he who does not know he has wow. will suffer like he who does not have wow the greatest problem is knowledge thank you so much for joining us today the mystery of his will for oh, listen to this and listen to it again that the mystery of god's will has been known has been made known it's common knowledge now and you it's it's known in christ in the gospel amen mm. study it learn it understand it and god's going to bless you so much i want to say a prayer but before i say that prayer i want to ask you to kindly note there are numbers scrolling at the bottom of your screen you can call us if you have any question let us know if you have any testimony let us know and God's going to bless you there's also another number there is a pay bill number you know it's is there also for your convenience so if you like to send an offering you'll pay your tithe god bless you uh, 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 you will we will receive it and god's going to bless you so much thank you father in the name of jesus mm. i thank you for the viewers and i thank you for that which you have intended for them to experience in christ i mm. pray that the eyes of their understanding will be flooded with light that they may know that they may understand that they may get to grasp what it is that you have done for them in Jesus Christ Lord we honor you and we thank you father mm. guide them you the great shepherd o oh god who leads your sheep to pasture lord guide them into the pastures of your word the pastures of scripture so that they can be fed in Jesus name holy spirit you are the teacher the teacher who causes us to understand and reveals to us this thing you give us understanding and knowledge in the in in in, in the knowledge of Christ thank you for 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 giving us and giving them that knowledge for the glory and honor of your name we honor you and we worship you in Jesus name until next monday this has been pastor morris and pastor samodido on gospel talk mm. we are talking about the book of ephesians this book is so interesting i don't know how long we are going to take here yes, sir but it's also interesting is one of the books that you have to understand mm. if you don't understand Ephesians and Romans you do not understand the gospel you don't understand the church mm. and you don't understand what Christ has done 
that's just my humble submission. Mm. God bless you so much. See you then. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Gashero, Senior Pastor Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road, and this is Gospel Talk, where we get to discuss the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way that is plain and understandable. There are no two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives. And the Bible says, thy righteousness are as filthy rags. The gospel of Jesus Christ is called good news. So our bodies receive life from the Spirit.